Peace. Welcome back to original content. It is I O G B O Crack Baby. This the a theme for look. Today I want to talk about. <clears throat> I think this is a good topic. Help help women out. Um, what do men want? What they don't want, and the contradictions. Let me dive right in. And this is contrary to what we see today in society and social media is really damaging relationships because everyone is opinionated, number one. Um, and women and men put themselves out there and it's always a man or woman that's going to validate or compliment behavior. Therefore, encouraging a behavior that is going to result in you being single all your life or use. Number one, what a man want is the vagina, period. But <laughs> women outnumber men. There's plenty of vaginas out here for a man. What makes your vagina any different than the next woman's vagina? Loyalty. A man wants a woman that's loyal. And here's another factor, ladies. You know, it's this mindset, I can do what they do. You know, men do it. That's gonna leave you single, mistreated, and emotionally scarred. The reality is women mature faster than men. Women know what they want before men. Men can be well in their 20s, early 30s before it hits them down. I want to come home to one woman. But he may have met that woman at 25. You know, he may have cheated a few times and done some things that's questionable. So the woman leaves and no one should, I'm not telling anyone to stay around and you're being mistreated. But here's what you gotta know about a man. A man only gonna put his heart in one place, but he has a natural inclination, a natural desire to leave his heart someplace and it's gonna be with the woman who's loyal. The woman who may cuss him out or, you know, tell him off or whatever, but she don't break that code. You know, she don't t bring another man into his space. She keeps her legs closed. That's the woman he's going to mature to love. Well, he may already love her, well, of course, and he, he, he probably already loved her, but a man has an appetite for more than one woman. Every place you go on the planet, you find men of color with more than one woman. That's another thing that we're gonna have to come to terms with. Nine times out of 10, all of those who are gonna jump in the inbox and jump on me, nine times out of 10, your man got one or two on his side right now. You may not realize it, but I'm almost certain he does. But he can only give his heart to one. At the end of the day, either you're gonna be in a relationship or you're not gonna be in a relationship. If you're going to be in a relationship with a man, listen, be the woman that's loyal. The woman that stands the test of time. That's the one he's coming home to, eventually. Okay? That's what a man wants. What a man don't want. A man does not want a woman that's for everybody. Listen, even if a man goes out and he meet a stripper, right? And it's always this thought of the type of behavior a stripper, you know, tends to, to, to fall to fall into. He may meet her, then go to Waffle House or whatever, go out and, 
he finds himself in a conversation with her. And here's something else that's misunderstood about a man. A man also has a natural um, inclination or natural um, desire to find something good in a woman that stereotype is bad. Give an example, the stripper. So he'll find himself in a conversation with her and she may, you know, reveal to him that um, she's struggling, she's trying to take care of her child, you know, she don't have any help, blah, 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 right? And then he may not say this, but in his mind, he's saying, well, damn, this is a good girl. She's just in a bad situation. You understand me? So he would engage her, you know, may start some type of relationship with her. As long as she stay consistent, that may even evolve into something. But the moment he finds her lying or she may say, you know, you're the only one I'm talking to and he's over the house and the phone's going off and you're getting text messages and dudes popping up at the door. Now you have be, you have justified his view of you that he didn't even want to believe in the beginning, but now you have justified it. And that's going to cost you. You know, he may still, you know, sleep around with you or whatever, but you'll notice at one time he was to come over and may might take a nap afterwards, put his arm around you. Now he get over there, lay down with you.